Hey, it's me, Charlie. And hang on to your lug nuts, because it's time for a Fashion Week vlog. And I didn't really record myself talking in any of these videos, so I'm just going to do my DVD commentary instead. This is me at Times Square getting chastised by a Korean Jesus zealot. I don't know why I'm sticking out my tongue like that, honestly. I, and I need to trim my nose hairs, too. Jesus Christ. Times Square is fun for like three minutes, and then that's it. Okay, let's rewind and start from the beginning. Here we go, Alaska air flight from LA to New York. First flight got canceled because of the airplane doors flying off. Bonk. But then they put me on this one, and of course my cheap ass gets stuck right next to the emergency exit. Here's a little pee-pee room fit check, and- Wait, Charlie, is that the one of one ultra rare Vin Diesel Bigfoot coat by Diesel? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Anyways, look at this nasty little thing, and I'll give you all a little stink face right here. Here's a view of New York when I'm flying in at night. Oh, gorgeous. Wow. I grabbed a bag from the airport. Stonk. Anyways, we survived the flight. I know, I know. Maybe next time they'll get me. And then the train finally shows up right before I turn into an iceberg. Hallelujah. I'm actually a fan of the Jersey Transit because it gets you right into the city for $15. And here's me trying to figure out how the door works. It, it's, it's the button. There you go, there you go, champ. Here's me thinking I'm hot and then realizing everybody's watching me record myself, so I get embarrassed. Anyways, here's Penn Station. I don't really have a review for Penn Station. It's just overall just stinky and gross, And but it's the only place where you get off, so too bad. Then we headed straight to the Sandy Liang Lunar New Year party right when I got in. It was at the Boom Boom Room in the Standard Hotel in Chelsea. Absolutely bonkers 360 view. It was way too dark to film anything, really, but it was an open bar and I went completely feral. Also, funny story, I was wearing some unreleased goon merch and this chick comes up to me at the party and asks to take a photo of my shirt, so I let her and I flip around to show her the back and she slaps my ass instead. Here's me uh, suffering from the aftermath of the party, looking like a greasy trog. Ended up back at home crawling on the floor and throwing up all night. If you saw me that night, I apologize. I don't know what I'm doing in this video either. I'm probably just regretting those vodka cranberries. Stepped into this Buffalo Exchange in Chelsea, but it was just entirely picked over. Here's Chelsea Market. Um, it's full of cool little doodads and trinkets and whatnot, but I'm not really in the, in the market for buying more junk because I just got rid of everything I own. So, But there were some good snags here. I just want to take a second to admire the absolute rank stankiness of these subway cars because it looks like an old Motel 6 from the 70s with that color combination and the wood paneling and just look how nasty this floor is. But I still love it. Now we're walking by the waterfront to go down to the financial district and hey look it's the Brooklyn Bridge baby! Decided to take a little outfit check video while I was sitting on a bench waiting for a meeting and all right we get it we get it you're full of yourself move on next uh here's me recording some tall buildings in the financial district uh you'll realize that i record a lot of the tall buildings because i come from la where there aren't that many dense tall building structures so i feel like a like a caveman in the city for the first time okay time for some actual fashion content finally so this was the fashion show for this brand called Dauphinette and it took place in this old church and the clothes were cool, it was cute and they were a lot big upcycling and customizing stuff like they had sunglasses made from recycled forks but uh, overall good time. Uh, here's me looking like an idiot while they do a run through, I had no idea where I was supposed to sit. And then this day we went to Central Park and I had a nice little hot chocolate in the park. The surprising thing about Central Park is that even in winter when everything is completely dead it still looks pretty good and it's definitely one of the saving graces of new york i think without it new york would be a very depressing and gloomy place uh, the cool part about new york fashion week in winter is that it falls right in the middle of chinese new year so you kind of like double dip on the parties here's me being all dark and broody in the corner thinking i'm cool but i'm wearing red so I, at least i get the good luck and then right before the end of the party they brought in the dancing dragons which is always a good time Here's me walking through Chinatown. Unfortunately, I missed all of the celebrations, but just look at how much stuff is on the floor. You know they had a good time doing this. This was the Romina Monserrat fashion presentation. Uh, yeah, I know I filmed in vertical because I'm an idiot and forgot to film horizontal, but the clothes were cool and Romina is always a fun, chill person. Romina, baby, if you're watching this, I am sorry, but it was so packed and cramped in that basement in Chinatown and it smelled like an old Winnebago. It needed a fan or something bad. Went to this bakery in Little Italy because I was desperately craving a cannoli. Uh, they had everything. Gelato, cheesecake, lobster tails, you name it. Wow, my panties are soaked just looking at this. 
Anyways, I got the cannoli and the lobster tail. 10 out of 10. Don't even need to talk about it. Just look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? Here's me stuffing my face hole with cream. Oh, my own. And then took a quick trip to Dumbo and tried to find out which building the Humphreys lived in from Gossip Girl. I think it was one of these two. I don't know. Not 100% sure. And hey, look. It's the Empire State Building. Whoa. Here's a video of the New York City skyline from Dumbo, but this sexy, hot, hunky man just kept getting in the way. And we decided since we were here already, might as well walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. And there's the Statue of Liberty in all her glory. Uh, no, I didn't go see her, unfortunately. And then here, more tall buildings because I'm just weird. Okay, here we go. Fashion show number two. This is for Jane Wade. Uh, overall, the show was fantastic. Great clothes, great venue, perfect lighting and music. By far my favorite show of the ones I attended. Here's me behind the scenes with my little Amazon setup. Yes, it's just my phone and a light, but it works. Everything I saw could easily be worn. Lots of fun. I was exiled to the photographer pit, but I didn't get a great seat for this one. R.I.P. Although arguably I had a better view than everyone else. So who's actually winning? And if you want to see what I actually filmed backstage, you can go to my Instagram profile. I made a couple reels about it. Um... I don't really know what to say during this footage, but uh, subscribe and then leave a like and a comment, I guess. And then after the show, we went to the after party at Public Hotel. And I'm going to be honest, the floor was insanely sticky to the point where it was gripping my shoes. Also, I'm not sure if it was the couch or the table, but there was like a lingering smell of vinegar or stinky feet. I, don't know, I really hope it wasn't me. Shameless little goon merch plug. They're coming soon, I promise. I'm working on it. I also hope YouTube doesn't uh, demonetize this video. Oh, well, it doesn't even matter. I'm not even monetized, but I hope they just don't strike it because of this music. And then here's me filming another incredible view, except it was so cold and windy up here. It felt like I was at base camp Everest, just freezing my chochones off. And the abomination that you're looking at here is Prince Street Pizza. That's right. They had the audacity to serve me a $7 piece of raw dough and call it pizza. And this is the view from the apartment I was staying in, and it was snowing this day, and I got all excited because I hadn't seen snow in, like, I don't know, three or four years. And I want to share this little clip because it's probably the most unsettling subway entrance I've ever experienced in my life. And this is Bushwick, Brooklyn. Look how beautiful and scenic it looks in the snow. And here's me overreacting to how cold it is. It's actually, it actually wasn't that bad that day. I don't know. I don't know why I was acting. And this was the third and last fashion show I went to for Zoe and Gustavia Whalen. It was in this really cool concrete open layout space and I got there early to do some BTS before everyone started showing up right around this point. Here's a little quick uh, outfit check of me at the show and to be honest I've probably been wearing this fit for like the past four days straight and I look and smell like a sewer rat. I mean just look at me. But the show was overall pretty cool. There were some great pieces, and it felt a lot like a performance art piece at the same time because there was all kinds of things going on. Like at some point, someone was wearing a, a table or something, and I think in this clip, they're wearing a chair or something close to like a chair. I don't know. And for the finale, everyone gathered around in a circle in the middle and uh, kind of did like a weird ritual or something. And then this was my reaction to that last part. I, I don't really know what was going on. I was just trying to trying to feel the vibe. And this was the walk up to Times Square on the last day, because I had to go to Times Square before I left. But uh, all the other footage you saw at the beginning already, anyways. And then here we go, back on the New Jersey Transit to the airport. And on the flight back to L.A., surprise, surprise, met up with my old best friend, the emergency exit door. Then boom, touchdown, back in smell A. And you can just tell by the look on my face how excited I am to be back. But if you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Mwah.